Hi, my name is Seko Mainje. I'm the pilot, the Rhino anti poaching pilot here on Amakala Game Reserve. I studied nature conservation. I grew up here on Amakala Game Reserve and I came back to do my practical year with, um, with Amakala Game Reserve. I did that with the, with the Amakala Conservation Centre. Uh, with them, I used to do a lot of environmental education with the school kids. And then, but I was still a youngster then. And then that's where my passion for conservation started. Then I, I got to go on game drives and work at the lodges. And, and then I knew straight then I definitely want to do this. This is my passion. And then I came back here to work with Dr. William Folds as a vet assistant. Whilst doing that, we, we did a lot of flying with, uh, with game capture stuff. And that's when the passion for flying started. And I just wanted to do it. And lucky enough, the guy that was was flying for us, he, he said he's got a school in Port Elizabeth, uh, App Track Aviation, and he said if I'm interested, you can you can work up work out like a cadetship uh, system, and I can get my hours like that. It's a it's a Bantam aircraft with a Jabiru six cylinder engine. It's got a 50, 55 liter tank, a fuel tank, and I can get up about four to five hours endurance. Uh, the thing is with this aircraft you have to fly very slow and very low and it's quite dangerous out here because you've got power lines, hectic power lines and most of the time you fly into valleys and the wind here in the Eastern Cape is quite strong So, and this aircraft is not really built, it doesn't handle wind well so it's very tricky to fly but it's, it's challenging but if you're careful enough and you, you just have to be vigilant and yeah, just be careful. Uh, with, I, I do a lot of game counts with Amakala Game Reserve when, when, when numbers don't balance, they do counts on the ground with vehicles, but when numbers don't balance and they ask me to go up because you see a lot more up there and just to, just to confirm that the numbers, like for example things like giraffe, if they do counts on the ground and they find out they only have 10 giraffe and they know for sure they definitely have more than 10 giraffe and they'll send me up and then I'll look for it and just confirm the numbers. I've, I've been flying for the past five years or doing my, my license part-time and, and I've been with Amakala for, for a year now. You, you know when you get that call from a, a land owner, a rhino owner and saying he's looking for his rhino, he can't find it and he's stressing and he's convinced it's been poached and then you go out to, to search for it and you find it alive. For me, that just it makes me so happy. I'll say that's definitely my highlight. I was born and raised in this in this reserve one of my, here at Lewenbush actually. So this this airstrip is just a kilometer, well not even a kilometer, 500 meters from my house. So that's another highlight. Like I went to study flying, and then I came back and I get to fly at home. So you know, that that's that's special. When I started flying, I. I wanted to be an airline pilot, that was the thing for me, I wanted to go that route and, and since I've been doing this, I, I enjoy it so much, I, I really want to, to do a lot more of it and hopefully get to fly bigger areas and do more conservation flying and, and yeah, and see where it takes me. Absolutely. Yeah. It, being up in the sky, you see a lot more compared to a vehicle. A vehicle is restricted to the road, and in an aircraft, you cover more ground, and you, and you see a lot more compared to what people can see on the ground. So yes, there's definitely a need to have a, the aircraft in the sky. And another thing is, if, for example, poachers are driving on the road, they can see the aircraft, oh, the people here, yeah, they, they are aware, they, they're doing something. So that hopefully that scares them away to stay away from the reserve. Like any donations, for example, fi 500 bucks can, can give me one, one hour in the sky. And we're always looking for funding so that we fly a lot more compared to what I'm doing now. So that the more hours I spend in the sky, the better protection for our rhinos. I would say keep doing the great work. Uh, like, as we know, it's not a high paying job and some, it's, it's quite lonely as well. You feel like you're only doing this by yourself. But 
there is a whole community out there that care about these animals and and there's a reason we've, we've got a passion for it as uh, yeah keep doing the great work